this is the matrix multiplication calculator coded in C++. Um, so well, starting from the top, we have some initialized variables that we use to store the dimensions of the matrices, which are right here. And then we initialize three multi-dimensional variables that are going to hold the values of the matrices. Uh, ma matrix 1 will be entered by the user, matrix 2 will be entered by the user. Uh, we're going to run a, a for loop that's going to multiply them and then matrix 3 will hold the results. <clears throat> so um, basically we're, we prompt the user to enter the number of rows in matrix 1 and enter the number of columns in matrix 1 and then the same thing for matrix 2. Uh, here we have a conditional statement that basically states if the number of columns in matrix 1 is not equal to the number of rows in matrix 2, then uh, print out this error message. It's going to say this, this type of matrix cannot be multiplied. Um, and then we'll go back to the beginning of this and prompt the user to enter the matrix dimensions again. Uh, here basically is a for loop that's going to take in the, the elements of the first matrix and here is another for loop that's going to take in the elements of the second matrix and store them in our initialized ar arrays right here. Um, then we have you know the important um, mate, uh, the important for loop which actually does the calculations and multiplies matrix one by matrix two. And the last for loop here basically just prints out matrix three, which is our newly multiplied matrix. And um, yeah, let's give it a run. We're gonna start by running it so that um, it gives us our error message. So let's put in one for the number of rows and two for the number of columns and then this is matrix two we're gonna we need this to be not equal to two so let's make it one and then this would be two and as you can see we got this type of matrix can't be multiplied prompts us to go back and enter a new dimension so let's do one two three four this type of matrix cannot be multiplied whoops well, wait, what am I doing? Okay, sorry, let's do two by two, two by two, and then two by two. Right, so now it prompts us, enter the element of row one, column one. So let's do one, two, three, four. That's what I was trying to do earlier. One, two, three, four. And if you are to do it by hand and multiply those two matrices, you would see that in fact, you do get seven, 10, 15, and 22.